A computer parts company wants to make a rectangular memory board that has a perimeter 14 centimeters and a diagonal of length 5 centimeters. What are the dimensions of the board? This is an application of nonlinear systems. The trick to doing these is to write down everything you know. All right, write down the equations you know and create a drawing. That's precisely what we're going to do. And then we're going to solve the equations either by substitution or elimination. In this problem, you'll see we're going to solve it with substitution. Okay, let's draw a picture, as well as we can, of that rectangular uh, circuit board or memory chip or memory board. It's got a length and it's got a width and it's got a diagonal. However, for a formula we're going to write, W is the same as A and L is the same as B. All right, we're told the perimeter, so I am going to write the perimeter formula. P equals 2L plus 2W. And we're told that the perimeter is 14. So I'll say 14 equals 2L plus 2W. Now, because each of the numbers in the formula is divisible by 2, I'll divide by 2 to make my numbers smaller. That will always make everything better. Okay, this is our perimeter formula. Now, there's another formula. We're dealing with a right triangle that has a diagonal. We're looking for the length of the sides. That means use a square plus b square equals c square, also known as the Pythagorean theorem. But since w equals a and l equals b, I'll substitute w and l into the formula. Now I'm going to use the perimeter formula to solve for w and substitute that into w in the Pythagorean Theorem formula. Now just to be safe, I'll write 7 minus L as 7 minus uh, squared as 7 minus L times 7 minus L, just to make sure I don't make mistakes. Now that will give me 49 minus 7L minus 7L, which is minus 14L plus L squared, and then plus the L squared that was already there, equals 25. Now I'll subtract 25 from both sides of the equation, add my like terms together, and set the resulting quadratic equation equal to zero. That will give me 24 minus 14L plus 2L squared equals zero. Notice that each number is divisible by two. I'm going to divide by two again to make my numbers smaller. That gives me 12 minus 7L plus L squared equals zero. Now we're going to solve the quadratic equation for L. This is definitely factorable. I always choose factoring uh, because it's so quick and easy sometimes. Sometimes it's not. When it's not, I use the quadratic formula. But I don't have to do that today, not on this problem. 
I set each factor equal to zero, and then I solve for L. So I get L equals three and L equals four. Now I go back to the perimeter formula. If three, if L equals three, what is W going to equal? That's what I'm finding out right now. So 14 equals 6 plus 2w. Subtract 6 from both sides, I get 8 equals 2w. Divide both sides by 2, and I get w equals 4. And that is if l equals 3. What if L equals 4? If L equals 4, my P, actually, you'll see, not my P, my uh, W is going to equal 3. Yep. So my, my dimensions are 3 by 4.